Well, the first couple of tiles are um, just super annoying to get out, but once you start clearing a spot, it goes a lot uh, easier and faster. But yes, today we are cutting a hole, a rather large hole in this roof. It's gonna be beautiful. Oh. There we go. First one down. There is a special tool for this that makes it a lot easier, but no, I don't have the special tool. <laughs> Making do with what I have. <laughs> Well, I still don't have the, uh, the right tool, but sometimes you can take two wrong tools, modify them, put them together, and make something that sort of resembles the right tool. Oh yeah, that works. <laughs>
So just to give you a close-up look at uh, this slate roof, this is all uh, quarried pretty close to here. Quarried? Is that the word? Mined? Uh, dug out of the earth. <laughs> um, but you can see they're all, they all have so much unique character. Every single one of them is uh, shaped differently with different veins, really making it uh, quite the unique roof. This is a roof that will not just last a lifetime, but several lifetimes. Really the only thing that can uh, damage this is brute force of large objects. So not the greatest uh, roof if you live in a uh, area with uh, tornadoes or hurricanes, but here, beautiful and will last forever. This happens to be one of my favorite spots on the property, especially in the morning. The way the roof frames the view into the valley and, and actually the way the mass of the, uh, the building blocks any extra sound, it's actually especially quiet right in this spot, the most quiet spot on the entire property. Uh, and I'd love to build, probably from this perspective, just a lovely stone bench overlooking the valley here as I said, being framed by this late roof. I'm looking forward to getting to those types of uh, extra projects someday. So I did a rough measurement before I started ripping the tiles off um, and my measurements were off just a bit as was verified with uh, me punching a hole in the roof. Um, I think the saying is uh, measure twice, tear your roof off once, something like that. <laughs> I made just an extra 10 minutes of work for myself, it's fine. Putting the tiles back is easy, it's taking them off, that takes a long time.
you doing? <laughs> Find the hole in the ring. Um, you want to see where it's going to be? Yeah. So the skylight's going to be right here. Um, we're going to cut this beam more or less here and up there. Put a new beam to bridge, okay. like so. And then it's going to be pretty nice. Oh. Like, it's going to be about there. 114 is the width. Yes. Um, oh my goodness. And then awesome. the height will be 118, which now that you're here, can you let me know, is this center? I think it is. It's technically not centered, but it, I think Oops. visually it looks more centered than actual okay, centered looks. It. Yeah, that makes sense. See it again. Like Alright, right there. Technically centered is up oh, here. Oh no, that would be weird. That looks weird. Because um, of the angle. No, I think that looks perfect. <gasps> yes, I love it. That's perfect. It's going to be so much love. Oh my goodness, it's going to change this whole room. Oh, I'm so excited. Let's go up top. I'll show you what's going on. Okay. Oh my. That's big. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a little bigger than it's supposed to be. I uh, may have got my measurement a little wrong and I tore off more of the roof than I need to. <laughs> well, that's, that's okay. Yeah, we'll put oh, it back. Man. That's crazy. So if Brady hasn't told you guys yet, we are actually installing a skylight in the bathroom today. I am so excited about this because there are no windows in the bathroom. It is only internal walls and the one external wall is the back of the house where there's obviously no windows. So this is going to be a game changer for the bathroom. We're gonna be able to let so much natural light in. It's going to be just, it's gonna be so beautiful. It will be the biggest window in the entire house. It will be the biggest window in the entire house. Wait, can you see into the bathroom from here? <laughs> <laughs> you won't be able to, I promise. Uh, that was be. actually Chloe's main concern when we told the girls well, what we were doing. What, they, what she said. <laughs> she was like, um, if someone's in, riding in a hot air balloon <laughs> above the house, could they look down and see you going to the bathroom? <laughs> Um, Technically, yes. No, I was like, well, we would look like little ants. <laughs> it would be fine.
Really quick, I just wanted to thank our long-term channel partner, Reolink, for sponsoring today's video. We've been using Reolink security cameras for a couple of years now, and I'm really excited to tell you about a brand new system that they have. We've just upgraded our Wi-Fi cameras to these brand new 4K solar-powered Wi-Fi cameras. This right here is the Argus PT Ultra 4K Pan Tilt Camera. It's completely battery-powered. You can power it off of solar. And the package we got comes with two of these guys, as well as a home hub, which acts as your central management system and storage hub. These cameras are solar-powered, and they run off Wi-Fi, so there's no long cables to hook up, so it's very easy installation. They feature 4K clarity, and they even have colored night vision. You can add additional cameras to this package. The system will handle up to eight different cameras, all centrally managed with the Home Hub, which will also store all of the video files. The Home Hub also features encryption algorithms to make sure your data stays protected. And basically, if a camera is ever stolen, then you'll retain all of that footage on the Home Hub. Setting up the cameras is very easy. You just scan a QR code on the back of the cameras using your smartphone, and then the app will guide you through the installation process. And as with any Reolink camera, the best part for me is the app interface. It's very easy to play back footage, to get alerts on your phone, and to instantly bring up the live feed. And with these specific cameras, they are 360 degree pan tilt cameras, so you can zoom around and move the camera around using your phone and the entire app interface is very simple to use. This camera lineup also features upgraded solar and battery capacity. Out of all the Reolink cameras that we've been able to test, if you're looking to get your first system, I would say this two camera system is the system to get. And Reolink's Prime Day is here, so it's the perfect time to score some amazing deals on home security. So check out the link in the description below or scan this QR code to get some amazing deals off of Reolink security products. Reolink has all kinds of security cameras available. Wi-Fi cameras, cellular cameras, POE cameras, wildlife cameras, and right now is the best time to buy as with the Reolink Prime Day sale, you can get up to 48% off in the USA and up to 53% off in the EU. So make sure to check out the link. And thanks so much to Reolink for sponsoring today's video. Eh? 
Definitely gonna be the brightest room. I it went from love the uh, darkest to the brightest. I was so worried about how dark this bathroom was gonna be. It's so bright. I love it. I'm stunned. That's a huge difference. I think this is like, like probably the biggest transformation we're gonna make in the whole house. We're staying in the hallway. <laughs> it's making the hallway a lot brighter. Wow. Love it. Can we do it elsewhere? Yeah, I know. Where else can we put one in? <laughs> it's amazing. Uh, we wanted to put in a couple more, but the windows are like they're very expensive. Six six hundred euros <laughs> each. The so, bathroom definitely needed it because it has no window, so yeah, it's it's worth, worth it the money. for the bathroom, yeah. but. I don't know. I want to. Wow. I, I kind of want to spring for one over the uh, <laughs> over the stairs. But now we won't. No. Oh, and you can see trees from yeah. here too. That's awesome.
Se, se tyyli kanssa, että piikki. Se on hyvä. Niin.